Let's talk a, more about Women's Media Center Live. Okay. Just syndicated nationally. It's being delivered to 110 different countries. Yeah. It's on iTunes. It's just exploded, and it's just moving into its third season, right? Yes. It, I, how did this happen, Jennifer? I mean, so I, how, know, how did this happen? Because audacity <laughs> and going in sideways, not really looking what, what I was doing. Um, well, there's a, one executive producer who is our president, Julie Burton, the president of the Women's Media Center, Crystal Williams Chancellor, who is the senior producer and who helps with the booking. But it's, that's a, it's a tiny staff. The and, three of you. Yeah, kind of. Um, and then there's our wonderful founding sponsor, Regina K. Scully. But, um, but we're thinking to expand this year. I want to do more remotes. I want to do more. I'm going to begin to build a stable of correspondents so that there will be sort of specialists and entertainment correspondent and a, a millennial voice of the young, young feminists. Um, and so forth, and do more traveling, take the show on the road a, a bit. But the formula has been pretty much the same from the beginning. I mean, I do my commentaries, which, depending on your view, are either outrageous or terrific, um, or legendary or notorious. I don't know <laughs> which. Um, but I let a rip. Um, it, it is an honest show. And if the aim is, as it is, to model a different kind of media that tells the truth. Um, this is like no other radio. Huffington Post called it talk radio with a brain. Mm -hmm. And so I think the show does have a brain and it certainly has listeners who are very loyal and very challenged and, and want to be challenged. I mean, we go for the highest common denominator, not the lowest. And the amazing thing is that we've had world-class guests. I see somebody who is on Rachel or John Stewart, um, and we did them last week or something, you know. So, wow. so far we've had one male in three years, and that was Jimmy Carter. Ah, uh, because was he, it about his book? It was about his remarkable book, yeah. in which he flat out says the women's fight for equality is the most important human rights struggle on the planet today, and everything else stems from it. Oh my God, this 89-year-old man, he's yeah. bless his heart. <laughs> um, so he has been my first and so far my only male guest, but the women who have been on the show are amazing. We have, we have our share of movie stars, but they're there for who they are as people mm. and for some cause that they're dedicated to. Deborah Winger came on because she wanted to talk about fracking. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy Bates because she wanted to talk about being a director, not mm. an actor. Obviously, Jane has done the show a number of times. Marissa Tomai wanted to talk about embodying goddess imagery in her parts, you know. So that's the, 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 those are the sparkly sort of types. But then Christiane Amanpour, um, uh, Charlene Hunter-Galt, um, senators, congresswomen, Sheryl Sandberg, um, business heads have come on the show, um, Sheila Johnson. And CBS is the network. Radio. Now we've left CBS because we're syndicated, so we get CBS okay. back in the syndication, but okay. we're not exclusively with them anymore because now we're on 9,000 stations in, in and around the United States, plus the 110 countries.